Hi everyone, John Baddorf here, and today I want to show you my favorite new tool in Lightroom 5, and that is the radial filter. Uh, I use the radial filter a lot just for dodging and burning, and I used to use the adjustment brush a lot. So I found myself using this over and over, and I thought, let's do a quick tutorial on how I go about using it. So first of all, uh, the location of the radio filter is right here. It's in the middle of the graduate filter and the adjustment brush. You can click on it to activate it or hit shift down. Uh, before we get to it though, I want to convert this image to black and white. Uh, this is an image that comes to us from uh, Belgium, Brussels in particular, and I just like the, the gritty feel of it. So we're going to use one of my uh, black and white presets. Now these may look familiar to you if you bought my uh, my uh, street photography ebook from Peach Pit because you get these for free. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, make sure to check out the, the ebook on Peach Pit's site. So I'm going to start with Street Portrait. This was originally designed uh, for portraits, but like all presets, you can use them for any number of things. And it's basically just a starting point. So we're going to close this off. I really like how this looks with this image, but I want to darken the shadows here. So I'm going to grab the graduate filter first. Go down diagonally, and I'm going to decrease the exposure. Now I can move the slider, or in this case, I'm just simply going to punch it in, a negative 1.75. And as you can see, it just really brings out the shadows. But at the same time, it darkens this area a lot. So I'm going to put a graduated, or not graduate, I'm sorry, I'm going to put a radial filter here to, to kind of just dodge that area in. So let's close up this histogram preview. And let's click on the radial filter, and let's draw a circle. There we go. Now, if I make an adjustment right now, if I go like this, it's going to darken the overall image, which kind of looks cool too, and that's an option. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to invert the mask, which is going to affect just the area inside the circle. And I'm going to simply increase exposure a little bit to right about there. And we can toggle this effect on and off to see what it looks like. As you can see, it's dark. And now with effect on, it lightens it up a little bit. And that's where I'm going to stop. So that is a quick adjustment. Normally, I would have used the brush in the past and kind of brushed this in, but this works so nice. And you can change the size of the area being affected just by moving the circles or adjusting the size of the circle. So once again, a real quick way to dodge or burn an effect in uh, using an inverted mask. Hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, drop me an email at john at batterphotography.com. Thank you.